And so definitely surprising um, to see that. And then on the positive side, um, it's a good question. Cameron Young, I would say for sure. Hmm. Um, a guy like Hovland who did get into the fire at, at the PGA and I thought it held up pretty well. I, you know, I think he made a late double um, on like 16 or 17 at Southern Hills, but then uh, birdied one of the last two holes coming in and had still had a chance to get into that playoff. And then to see him get back into the mix here at St. Andrews, especially after he went over and played the Scottish Open and looked pretty bad, but he mentioned um, kind of the, the time change, the jet lag, it took him a while to get used to. And he got used to it pretty quickly, obviously took the first round lead and did not fade away. And then to shoot, I mean, to shoot 65 on Sunday and lose, everyone feels bad for Rory McIlroy. I feel really bad for, for Cam Young. He shoots 65 hmm. on Sunday at a major and you're in one of the last two groups. That's that's usually going to get it done. And, and uh, he got clipped by one shot uh, by the other Cameron. What's next for Tiger Woods? <laughs> quite, quite, quite the mystery, I, I would say. Um, I think, you know, Maybe we see him once before um, the Masters next year. He'll pop up at his Zero World Challenge. I don't know if he'll play. It depends on how he feels. That, that, that'll that be in December. Um, if he feels up for it, he'll play. Um, that might be the only time he plays before before Augusta. He's, he said, uh, you know, he, he's never going to play a full schedule again. And um, the St. Andrews thing, I know he said he'll probably play more opens, but that, that kind of felt like the end. I don't think it's the end. But, um, yeah, I think we'll see him try to tee it up in the majors as long as he's eligible for all of them. So the masters is life for sure. The open um, is, you know, up until you're your sixties. And as long as you're competitive um, U S open, he's no longer um, eligible for, unfortunately. And the PGA is also a, a lifer. So he can always go back to those three. So I think he'll play in the majors as long as uh, his body holds up. But as for the other events, I don't know. That's such a mystery right now. I don't know if he wants the tournament reps. He said um, the thing, uh, the biggest takeaway, he said it, it's so hard for him to get ready for these rounds. Hmm. And that, that includes, you know, after the round, he's got to get his body right too. So a lot goes into that. So I don't know. It's a mystery right now. How did he look to you? Did he look over the weekend where it was about what he expected? It's just, is there one particular thing about his health that you think is just, he's just not going to get over it? Do you think there is reason for optimism that he could still win another major down the road? Like, what did you see health wise and the way he was swinging and just his performance and not making the cut again at the open? I thought he did look uh, healthier than he did at, at Southern Hills. Um, hmm the weather obviously plays a huge factor in that. Like if it was cold, it was obviously unseasonably hot this past week uh, in Scotland. If it was cold and rainy in the morning, I, I don't know how long he lasts to be honest with you. Mm. He said it takes him so long to kind of get ready and, and get his body warm. Um, I think the weather helped. And obviously it's a much flatter course. I know there's bumps and, and undulations and all that, but it's a flat links course. Whereas Southern Hills was, was very Augusta like and up and down and um, that's hard on the leg. And, and he keeps saying he's, he's, you know, he's in pain every day. And and after that last back fusion surgery, he said he was pain free. And then of course this car accident happens and now it just adds a whole new wrinkle to um, his pain. You know, he's, he's always in pain now. I don't think he'll ever not be in pain. I don't think he's going to, you know, get healthier with age. So um, I don't know. I, the last two uh, tournaments, you know, he fought hard to make the cut at Southern Hills. That was really fun to watch, but then to see him go out Saturday morning and play the way he did, I don't know if he can hold up for, for 72 holes anymore. Um, yeah, that's, that's a bummer. Uh, there's just <laughs> no other way around it. This is a bummer. But what's interesting too, is that he obviously had that press conference and he just, it was very firm. Like Tiger Woods is not going to live like that seems like just done, right? Like he is not going to make that jump and that's not something he's going to walk back later. No, ma no matter how much money they throw at him, it seems like they got him to be, um, not the spokesman, but just kind of the guy to stop, hopefully stop the bleeding. Are you surprised that like you mentioned um, Cam Smith, maybe making the jump and other like other big names potentially, are you surprised that that has not uh, kind of pushed the momentum back or swung the momentum back towards the PGA tour right now? Um, no, not surprised. I think with all the hmm. money involved and especially Cam goes on and wins this thing is he drives his value up. Um, no, not surprised. I think they're going to keep swiping.